Hey, Dr. Romano, what are you doing? What are you doing here? I'd like to go over a question with you on mechanisms. That I want you to make sure you're understanding how to move the arrows. This is a very important concept that you're going to need for the te test. So come along and let's have a look. Okay, Dr. Romano, I didn't know you liked plants. Now, even though you've never seen this reaction before, you can still understand the chemistry. What I'm going to do is to treat this molecule with a nucleophile. And this is a secondary amine. Here we have DMSO, dimethyl sulfoxide, which is a polar aprotic solvent. And we get this very curious result with this curious stereochemistry. The first thing I do is a straightforward SN2 attack. So let me just write here SN2. We do an SN2 attack where we attack this carbon on the halide and we kick out the bromine. And then the bromine that leaves simply takes off the H to give the neutral tertiary amine, which is here. So that's easy. So that's just a straightforward um, SN2 reaction. Now, here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Notice that the position of the double bond has got to change. So what I do is I do an intramolecular attack where I attack inside here, and this is what we call an SN2 prime mechanism, SN2 prime. Now, what that's going to do is notice that this is a dash, means we're underneath the ring. If it's flat, if you think of a flat pancake, we're underneath the ring, so that stays underneath. This bond moves over and this moves out, and that gives us this. Now we've positioned the double bond correctly. We just got to now do one more step. What we're going to now do is to bring the other nucleophile attack in, but that's going to come in from the top face, which means it's going to come in not as a dash, but a wedge. So the attack, we do an SN2 type of reaction. That would give me this. And then all we would do is to pull off the final H to get the final product. So as you can see, the important thing to, for you to understand is to make sure you, you see how I move these arrows. Um, you could call it overkill, but so do our, th our guys in our group who got 30 in this section. That's some overkill, too. One of the kids in our group got six acceptances um, in the last cycle for the death. So you can get that 30, but you've got to make sure you can do all these type of problems. Most of the questions in the doubt and the O will be easy, but to get that 30, um, you've got to know what you're doing. All right, and in the O, of course, 400. Um, hope this helps, and I'll see you again in the Facebook study group. Good okay, day. Dr. Romano, I'm going to go around and look at these plants. I didn't know you liked plants, Dr. Romano. Good day to you, sir.